Ita for expecting my boyfriend to replace all my socks, the exact same ones as I had before? This might seem silly. I, 24F, like wearing cheerful socks, since my uniform is all white, currently working as an phlebotomist, it usually cheers up the patients too. I've spent a few years collecting strange socks, ones with sushi, pizza, corgis, cats, Nick Cage, etc. Think I had about 30 pairs. My boyfriend, 29M, has always hated them, and thinks they're childish. So I agreed to only wear them to work, and never on dates or around his friends slash family. I thought that was fair. On Boxing Day his parents came over for coffee and gifts, just the four of us, which is allowed where I live, and keeping a solid three meters apart. I accidentally put on a pair of childish socks, and his mother made a comment about it. I explained that I wear them to work to cheer people up, and she liked that. My boyfriend didn't. The next day all my socks were gone, and the drawer was filled with plain black socks. I asked my boyfriend, and he told me he threw them away and purchased some more appropriate socks, so I won't embarrass him in front of his parents again. I told him that that's insane, they were mine and he had no right to throw them away. Not to mention that I spent quite some time collecting them. So I made a list of the ones I remembered I had, and told him that I expect the same ones as a replacement. He told me that's completely unreasonable, and that it would take a lot of time slash effort slash money for him to find those specific pairs. I haven't changed my mind yet, they cost me a lot of time and effort to find too. I think he's being controlling, he thinks I'm being unreasonable and demanding. Ita, I think I might be an asshole for asking for the exact same pairs. I know that'll take a lot of effort to find. Edit, thanks everyone for replying, I've realized that this might not be a normal fight and am evaluating the relationship. NTA. You're right to take this as a huge red flag. This is controlling and concerning behavior. It is not right for him to police what you wear at all. It's even more concerning he tried to take measures into his own hands when you didn't comply. This would be relationship ending behavior for me. NTA. A perspective, my husband can't stand when I wear stuff like that either, and rolls his eyes when I wear them. And yet, I ended up with 12 pairs of Harry Potter socks because he knows I like them, and my feet are always cold. Get yourself a man like that, and ditch the prick. I despise fanny packs. Think they're the nadir of both fashion and utility. But I have a close friend who loves them. While holiday shopping for her, I found a fanny pack with a print she'd love and I got legitimately excited because I knew it would make her happy. Good relationships, either romantic or platonic, are founded on respecting who the other person is and loving them for it, not trying to change them. NTA, and this is such a huge red flag. He's being unreasonably controlling over socks for God's sake. I don't know how long you've been dating or if he's exhibited other controlling behavior but typically these types of behaviors only get worse with time. First is socks, next is your entire wardrobe and then what you eat. How you do your hair, he can use that would embarrass me as the reason for controlling literally anything you do, except it's a BS reason and he had no right to throw away your belongings like that. Dating for 8ish months, and this is the first time anything like this has happened. To recap, an essential part of your personality is that you can embrace silliness to bring cheer to your day and others. This makes your boyfriend so upset he steals your things and makes you feel bad for embarrassing him. You need to put on some cute socks and fierce boots and kick that boy out. Or NTA or the childish one. Ita for kicking my girlfriend out of my place on New Year's Eve for scaring my little brother. We can all agree 2020 was a shit year. Particularly for my, 29 meters, family. We lost our dad beginning of the year after he had a heart attack and my little brother, 12, had no one to take care of him. My mom died when he was 3 so our dad was all we had left. I fought for custody and was appointed his legal guardian. Honestly it hasn't been easy. We're still adjusting to these life changes and my brother is taking it the hardest. For months he was just not himself. Bad attitude, lashing out. I got him in therapy because I knew he was just hurting, plus stress of pandemic. His behavior has improved so much since then, even if sometimes there's days where he's withdrawn. Days before Christmas he was feeling sad since it was our first holiday without dad. That day, 
he asked to be left alone. We had a talk to discuss his feelings and I gave him his space after that. My girlfriend was over that day and I went out to buy groceries. When I got back my brother was out of his room and helping out. I didn't think anything of it at the time. Yesterday my brother and I were out having some guy time before going back home to get ready for night. My brother opened up about how grateful he is for everything and he hopes that I don't change my mind about taking care of him. I asked why he'd think that and he told me what happened. That day when I was out my GF went to his room to tell him he needs to change his attitude and stop moping. Her exact words because he should be grateful I'm taking care of him at all. And that we can still hand him over to the state if we wanted to. I was furious about this and had to reassure him that was never gonna happen because he really was worried about it. We went home, I confronted my GF and she didn't deny it. She told me it's true and there was nothing wrong with telling him to stop acting like that when he should be grateful I gave up my life to take care of him. And the thing about giving him up isn't that big of a deal to her because it's not like I'll actually do it. I said she still scared him with that threat and told her to leave my apartment because honestly, I was far too mad and because I didn't want her to be near him right now. She started crying, there was more fighting but she left in the end. It was just me and my brother for New Year's. Since last night I've been bombarded with calls from all our friends for kicking her out knowing she has no family and nobody else to spend the holiday with. Everyone has sided with her and even my best friend says I may have overreacted by making her leave when she probably thought she was helping. They've heard my side of the story but still think I was an ass for making her cry and spending the new year alone. I'm having trouble seeing how I could be so here I am looking for internet strangers to weigh in on this. Update, okay wow this has gotten a ton of feedback. Thanks everyone for your kind and encouraging words. I might not have replied to a lot of the comments that made me smile but just know that I read and appreciate them. I know I only posted this a few hours ago but I've had a day to clear my head and really think about this. I talked to my brother because I wanted to know if she's said anything else to him. Thankfully she hasn't and we had another serious chat to remind him everything she told him is completely false. I would never in a million years give him up and that shouldn't have been put in his head. Another thing I told him was that I'm grateful he's here with me. Without him I wouldn't have made it through the year and I thanked him for giving me that strength to keep going. Someone who DM'd me suggested reassuring him that he's not somehow ruining my life in case he feels any guilt for what she told him. Thank you for that suggestion. Now, I know you were all waiting on this news. Yes? I did break up with her. Thinking about what a lot of you said, talking to my brother about how this made him feel, and my own thoughts about how badly she acted, I decided that's not someone I want around me or him. Can't risk her doing something like this again and ruining any progress he makes in therapy. I know many of you think I should have done it on the spot, but I wanted to make this decision with a clear head and not when my emotions were extremely high. She came by my place earlier and we talked outside. Her reaction was as bad as you'd expect and she still believed she did nothing wrong, even after I explained it all to her. There was just no making her understand and I told her it was over. I gave her a couple of her things that were lying around my apartment and she left. My phone started going off like an hour later so I had to put it on do not disturb. That's all the drama I could handle for one night. I'll deal with my friends some other time. Honestly, I'm exhausted. Mentally and emotionally drained right now. I think this weekend we'll do something to get our minds off this. I definitely need it after everything and I know my brother does too. It's been a hard year already without all this extra drama. Anyways sorry for the really long update you guys but I didn't want to leave leave anyone hanging. I'm sure more comments will keep coming. I probably won't be sleeping much tonight so I'll keep my mind busy by reading and replying to more of you. Thanks again for the support. What a shitty way to start the new year but he is hoping for better things smile. NTA. How is everyone siding with her? She must have told some twisted version of the story to your friends. NTA. Your brother comes first. That day when I was out my GF went to his room to tell him he needs to change his attitude and stop moping. Her exact words because he should be grateful I'm taking care of him at all. And that we can still hand him over to the state if we wanted to. That is beyond fucked up of her to say. If she really didn't see a problem with doing it she wouldn't have waited until he was gone to do it. 
Oh wow NTA. When I read the title I thought you meant she jump scared him or something along those lines. Since last night I've been bombarded with calls from all our friends for kicking her out knowing she has no family and nobody else to spend the holiday with. I find this hilarious considering she this is essentially what she threatened a 12 year old boy with for real. Her friends are all how can you abandon her? She's a grown adult with friends who are also grown adults, any one of which could take her in if it was an emergency. He is a literal child with no parents. Even aside from the blatant hypocrisy, what a cruel thing to say to a kid. Ita for asking if my cousin made her first million yet. Hello friends, I'm from the future. Throw away, yada yada. Well, technically we're a few hours away from 2021. So advanced happy new year. I'm currently outside on our terrace while my family is gathered in the living room after having asked me to step outside for a bit, because apparently I've ruined the mood. I'm turning to you guys to ask if I'm the asshole for what I just did. Family from all over the city has gathered to celebrate the new years. Covid is thankfully low in my city and we've taken the necessary precautions. As is typical of Asian family reunions, the old people in the family love to check up on their nieces and nephews. One of my aunts say, loves to show off her kids' achievements, particularly her daughter Pat. While listing off her daughter's achievements, passing the bar, recently getting married to a fellow lawyer, my aunt turned to me and asked what I've achieved in 2020. She began to list off all my lack of achievements. Like how I'm 30 and still unmarred, I'm a dude, if that matters, about how I'm still living at home with my parents and how I'm still driving my shitty 2000 something Civic. My other cousins joined in on the jeering and listed all the other failed aspects of my life. Now, I graduated with a degree in architecture, but after multiple attempts just can't seem to pass the exam. This has been a point of contention in the family because my other cousins are lawyers, teachers, etc whatever. These days I basically work freelance from home. I don't know why, but my aunt's condescending voice got to me and I said I made my first million this year. Has Pat made her first million yet? Then turning to my cousins I asked the same, you guys made your first million yet? Because I have. The room fell silent. I basically killed the mood. My dad asked me to go outside and relax because apparently I might have just ruined everyone's new year celebration. Was I an asshole? P.S. First million in our local currency not USD. NTA. Why does everyone get to dump on you without you defending yourself? That should have ruined the night for your parents, them dumping on you like this. It's all fun and games when they attack without reprisal but the moment you hit them back with their own medicine, silence. NTA everyone seemed to just take it as a chance to attack you about stuff you haven't achieved, but when you question them about making their first million they get mad. Please keep going you'll get that exam. While listing off her daughter's achievements, my aunt turned to me and asked what I've achieved in 2020. OP, my achievement is that I earned a million dollars slash whatever currency. Emily, wait. You're not supposed to defend yourself or have any achievements. Lay down while we kick you some more.